Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I transformed myself into Jack Skellington and Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas. So starting with Jack, I decided to first trace where his head was going to be because obviously his head is a lot more round than mine and his body is also like a lot thinner. He has a thinner neck. So I'm just sketching out where everything should go including his coat and his little bat tie thing and sketching it in a white pencil allows you to make sure that you do it right before committing with actual paint and then i went ahead and glued my eyebrows down it didn't do a great job of it because it didn't really matter because i was going to put black on it anyway all the paints i used were from meron makeup i don't know if i'm saying that right i've never known how to say it properly but i first went in with the white to sketch out all the white parts including the face and the parts of his suit jacket that are white and then i went ahead and went in with the black do not worry i am wearing a strapless dress so you won't see anything um it is pretty awkward i know but basically i'm sketching out or not sketching i'm painting in with the black and the white in the places where black and white should go and i drew the stripes where his stripes belong in that center part of his suit then i started painting in the bat and the bat wings and etc this was probably the most tedious part of the entire thing because you have to just like be really careful at the edge of the wings i actually ended up going in with a white to accentuate the outer parts because i'm going to be putting black right on top and right under there and obviously doing the bat head was also a little scary because i needed to leave a hole open for the eyes which i did then cover with white then i drew the stripes that he has there too it's not too precise it doesn't have to be perfect because in reality his suit jacket isn't perfect either now i'm just painting the outer like the background part black where it belongs on the rest of the suit jacket I am going to be going ahead and painting the rest of it black so you can actually blend in with the background and stuff. Then I went ahead and did the stripes. Honestly, for some reason, that was the hardest part of the whole thing because I could not get the white paint to go in a straight line all at once. I did have to keep dipping into the white paint, but make sure that you do it in the correct direction and you'll be fine. Now I'm just doing some shading with the Be Perfect Cosmetics Stacey Marie MUA Carnival XL Pro Palette. That is a mouthful, I know. But I took that taupey grayish color and I'm just shading the outer parts of the bat so that it looks more three-dimensional. And of course I did the same thing with the bat. Moving on to the face, I am using the same black paint to create Jack's smile lines and then shading them in with that same gray eyeshadow. I am also doing the same thing with his eyes with the same black paint and I really should have used a liner brush just to outline the eye first but it worked out in the end. I did end up changing the shape just a little bit. Now I am also just taking that same black paint around my face and just filling in the outer area so that it blends into my backdrop. This part really ensures that you look like Jack so that none of your skin is showing and I was actually running out of black paint, I'm not gonna lie. For the final touches, I just shaded around my face to make it more three-dimensional and I also created an outline for the suit. Moving on to Sally, I first glued my eyebrows down just to cover them really, really well. I used concealer, but the way I found that works the best is really getting that glue all up in there and then setting it with a translucent setting powder and then going over top with foundation and concealer. I did only use concealer. That's why my eyebrows weren't covered the best. I really need to do a better job of doing that for some other looks I'm gonna create in Halloween, but I did try and it worked out as well as it could have. Now I'm just creating the shape of her eyes and I was really careful with this part because a lot of people do Sally and they use their own eyes as the eyes, but I just wanted to make it as real as possible. But I went ahead and outlined the shape of her body because I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with Jack for Sally and I just painted the major parts her skin tone which was this light blue and I used the Meron paint again I don't know if I'm saying that right still it really bothers me I should probably look up how to pronounce it this paint I feel like is a little bit too like blue for her look I feel like she has more of a gray tint to her but it did work for the look and I just went ahead and painted my face my neck and that like neckline area that she has because I'm gonna be painting the dress in as well for the dress, I'm going to be taking the Meron paints in yellow, light pink, and green. And I'm just creating the shading, not the shading, the painting for the yellow parts first. Then I went in with the pink and I filled in that part of the dress. And then I did the sleeve in green. I did look at a picture while I was doing this so that i could see exactly what parts of her dress were like what colors and i did do a mirror image or i did it the way that she had it so like when the video <laughs> would be playing you'd see it exactly the way sally has it i guess 
And yeah, basically I just did a couple of coats of paint for each, but I let them dry in between and I was really careful on the edges because I am going to be painting the edges black. But before I do, I just went ahead and did the same skin tone that I did for the face and the neck area and I did a part of my arm because I figured that a part of my arm would be showing on camera so I just went ahead and did that very carefully. Next I painted the outer parts black just like I did for Jack but Sally is a little bit thicker I guess so it didn't take up as much paint but this was a brand new palette and I'm literally out of black so I definitely need to get more of the Meron black paint because I'm going to be doing so many more creative looks. I didn't go all the way up the neck because as you can see I'm putting red now and that's so that it blends into the wig, the red wig that I have. I did this so that it doesn't look strange when I put on my wig and like what would look like my hair wouldn't be black, you know what I mean? So that's why I painted that black. Now I'm going in with the Be, per Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival palette, the same palette I used for Jack. And I went in with that dark golden sh shade first just to outline the yellow parts. And then I went in with that same gray eyeshadow I used for Jack just to make it even more dark. I also went in with a dark pink shade from the palette just to shade in the pink side and the same gray just to make it even more like gradient and make it look more three dimensional. And for the green, I also went in with gray. Again, just making this whole entire like dress part look more three dimensional. What will also help is shading in the neckline as well. I first went in with like a tealish blue and then I blended it out with that same gray. Taking the same black paint, I'm creating the little swirls and this was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Just really effortless, just doing whatever. It doesn't really have to match or anything or be crazy. And then I just added some more detailing to the sleeve area with the same gold shade and the blue shade for the skin. And then I'm just drawing the stripes that she has on that sleeve with the same black paint. Now I'm doing the stitching and I'm just creating X's and lines in whatever order I feel like it to be honest. It really doesn't have to be perfect. I didn't match hers exactly. I just did kind of whatever I felt like doing. And then I went over it with a white to make them look more 3D. Hers are just black and they actually look as if they were flat and not 3D, but I wanted them to look a little bit more artistic and 3D. So I also went ahead and did some little pegs on the outside where the stitching would come out of. So like little dots or like, I guess they would be ovals where the stitching came out of, like, like if you're actually sewing it on. So I went ahead and made them just look a little bit more real than Sally's looks. She also has some stitching on her neck, so I went ahead and did the same thing there. Drying it first with the black paint, then going over it with the white to make it more three-dimensional and just have more of an artistic look. I also went in with blue eyeshadow, which I don't think I showed there, just to, again, make the shading more three-dimensional. For the lips, I'm taking MAC Brick Red, and it's just a lip liner. She does have red lips, so I just went ahead and just lined my lips and filled them in. It's nothing too crazy. And then I did the same kind of stitching around her mouth that she has. I went ahead and while that was drying, did the stitching across her face, and it does go through her eye, so I did it exactly the same way. And again, shading it in with eyeshadow and putting some white over top. I did actually line the white, like the actual stitching part, like the line with white as well. And then I filled in her eyes with white paint and I did her eyelids with the same blue that's on the face. And then I just took a darker blue eyeshadow to create more dimension and I outlined the entire eyeball with black because it really does seem like she's wearing like a little bit of eyeliner. For the eyelashes, she has like two little hairs in groups of four on each eye, so that's what I did. And then I just drew a little dot for her eyeball and that was pretty simple. But yeah, that completes this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me a lot and I appreciate it a lot and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!